What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl gossip girl. And today I want to discuss with you R. Kelly. Now R. Kelly is found guilty, right? All right. He's guilty of convict. He's convicted of sex trafficking and racketeering. Now his wife Drea has something to say, and here it goes. So R. Kelly's ex-wife Drea Kelly said that her heart breaks for their children. Um who have to live with the shame after the singer was convicted of sex trafficking and racketeering. Drea Kelly, who was married to R&B singer R. Kelly for 13 years, said that she reacted to the news of the verdict from both the perspectives of being a victim of his alleged abuse and the mother of his three children. I sit in a very difficult place because unlike the rest of his victims, I also share with him three children i was married to him so i wear two hats she told good morning britain i wear the hat of a survivor and an advocate but i also wear the hat of a mother and ex-wife so it's very difficult for me i feel that my heart is in two places my heart definitely goes out to the survivors and the courage that it takes to even come forward to tell the story but my heart breaks as a mother because this is now the legacy that my children will have to deal with and their children's children she continued she said though she is able to distance herself from his legacy her children cannot well if you can distance yourself from his legacy miss drea just drop the last name Keller, uh, Keller, Kelly, okay? Your name, go back to using your maiden name. Why use Kelly? I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even use it. After we divorced and I know that we went through what we went through, I would just drop that last name Kelly. I wouldn't even want to be, be dumb. I don't be bothered with it. So I don't understand why Drea hasn't dropped her last name Kelly. Mm. Um, his blood runs through my children's veins. It's part of their DNA. They can't escape it, even if they wanted to, she said. Drea has previously spoken out about the alleged physical abuse that she suffered during a marriage from 1996 to 2009. So while he was married to Drea Kelly, he was also doing his stuff too, this R. Kelly, right? People actually said she's coming out because she needs money or she didn't say anything because she got money, she said on The View in 2018. There's not enough money in the world for any woman to stay and get abused. That's what she said. R. Kelly, who's 54 years old, was found guilty on Monday of all nine counts against him, including racketeering and violations of the Man Act, which prohibits the transport of any woman or girl across state lines for any immoral purposes. He faces 10 years to life in prison at his sentencing, which is set for May 4th, 2022. Now, doesn't he have to go to um, Chicago for a trial there? And I think one other place is Minnesota, right? He has to go for his trial. Here's my thing with Drea Kelly. I'm not saying she didn't go through anything. <laughs> she probably did. And, um, you know, for what she was saying, she went through a lot. You know what I'm saying? But once you got out of that and you escaped that, I would have just dropped that last name. You know, I would have dropped the last name. I know some women, they do keep their husband's last name. They do. But um, me, I'm that kind of woman. If we're done, we're done. I'm not going to keep that name. I don't care how good you were to me or whatever the case may be. That's just be. I, just, I would drop that last name and start a new life without it, you know. Um, I'm pretty sure she got a settlement for her divorce and child support at that time um, from R. Kelly. Cause they do share three children. And this is sad for his kids. You know, I do sympathize um, with her about her, the children because to know that your father I mean this is going to haunt them for the rest of their lives unless they just totally totally disown him and don't even use the last thing don't even bring him up or you know just say that I don't have a father but you know kids you know everything is out on the internet these days and people pretty much know they're, they're his children 
Um, so my heart breaks for them because it's like, oh my God, my father was a superstar. You know, he was the man when he was out and to have all this come out and, and you are R. Kelly's children and this is going on. It's like, what the heck? You know, like I do sympathize with them for that because that's crazy. I don't even know how I would even manage or deal with, you know, if that was to happen, if I was in their shoes, you know. But as for Drea, yes, Drea, she went through her stuff with R. Kelly. And um, and while he was abusing her, you know, he was probably doing his own stuff as well. But listen, let me just tell you something. R. Kelly is sentenced. And there's a lot of R. Kelly supporters out there. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. He is convicted of sex trafficking and racketeering. Okay? Now, here's my thing. R. Kelly could not have done all this stuff by himself. So the people that helped him get these young girls, okay, the people that knew what R. Kelly was about and still let their children be around him, why aren't they in jail? They need to be locked up as well. Okay? This is not new to people. That video of him, you know, doing his business to that young girl and then he peed on that young girl in that video okay that we should have known our cat it was something wrong then that video was out that was him on that video it showed his face that was him and yet i don't understand how some parents let the children their kids still get up with him for an opportunity okay um, I don't understand how the people that helped him get these young girls, set things up, take him to where these young girls are, whatever, however they helped, they had a hand in this. Why aren't they being prosecuted as well? Yes, R. Kelly, he did the, the bulk of the stuff, okay? He's the main person. But where are the people that helped him? The people that helped him? Should be in trouble just just as well, okay. Now we all went through the whole Bill Cosby thing, and we went through the R. Kelly thing. But you know what? I under what I don't understand, and I was looking into into it today, and I'm going to talk about it. Bob Dylan, not so long ago, he was accused of messing around with a 12 year old. In 1965 right so yeah in 1965 so it says here Bob Dylan who's 80 years old is accused by an anonymized woman because that's going by the name of JC not Jay-Z JC Okay, so she's in, she's anonymous and um, of establishing an emotional connection with her to her lower to lower her inhi inhibitions with the object of sexual abusing her, which he did coupled with the provisions of drugs, alcohol, threats of physical violence, leaving her emotionally scarred. And physically damaged okay so it says here also Bob Dylan sexual abuse allegations contested by scholars a lawsuit filed against Bob Dylan you know alleged that the musicians sexually abused a 12 year old girl in 1965 and he did come out and say that those allegations were not true and that he was going to make sure that he clears his name. Even though I have to follow up more on this, but it was out there. This information is out there. Okay. Her legal case alleges that the rock star exploited his status as a musician to provide her with alcohol and drugs and sexually abuse, um, abused her multiple times and used threats to physical violence. 
It says the abuse took place at Dylan's apartment in New York City's Chelsea Hotel. Dylan's spokesman told BBC News that the 56-year-old claim is untrue and will be defended vigorously. The accuser is now um, 68 years old, lives in the state of Connecticut, is only identifying by the initials of J.C. She said the abuse took place over a six-week period between April and May of 1965. And that was reported out there. But you don't see people talking about this. You know, you don't see it. Yes, when, when Epstein did what he did, it was out there. But eventually after it was out there, he got killed, it got quiet. The same thing with Weinstein. It was out there on the news, but it didn't stay out there. Okay? This thing with R. Kelly and, and Bill Cosby, it was out there constantly and constantly. They did not let you forget it. It was out there constantly and constantly and constantly. You know? And they were wrong for doing what they did. No one is defending that. But I bet you most of you didn't know about this these allegations against Bob Dylan. Because it was out there. It was talked about for a second. And the next second, no one's saying nothing. Okay? I'm just bringing it up. Because I, I, I see a pattern. I see a pattern. <sighs> we all know the allegations with Woody Allen. But he's still out there living his life. Okay. Woody Allen was accused by his adoptive daughter, Dylan Farrow. At the age seven, that's just how, that's how old she was then, of having sexually molested her in the home of her adoptive mother, actress Mia Farrell in Bridgewater, Connecticut. Allen has repeatedly denied the allegations. Now, when the allegations was made, Allen and Mia Farrell had been in a 12-year relationship and had three children together, two adopted, Dylan and Moses, and one biological, okay, Satchel. The sexual abuse is alleged to have taken place eight months after Farrow learned that Allen had a romantic relationship with another of her adopted daughters, Soon Yi Preven, who married Allen in 1997. So, Woody Allen had a romantic relationship with another of her adopted daughters, okay? Soon Yi Preven. That's disgusting right there. But it gets talked about for a little bit and then it goes away. You understand what I'm saying here? But R. Kelly and Bill Cosby, they stuff keep going on and on and on and on and on and on and on. So that's all I'm saying. They both were wrong in what they've done. Both of them. Bill Cosby and R. Kelly. Now, I know there are some, listen, some R. Kelly supporters and Bill Cosby supporters. If you do wrong, you must do your time. That's how I feel about it. If you're doing wrong and you're caught and you're convicted, you do your time. Because not everybody is lying on you. Okay? Now, I do feel, now getting back to Drea, I do feel that Drea is hurting because of her children, you know, and any mother would, you know, but for her to cut off all ties, she can't cut her children off and she shouldn't because those are her children as well. I just think that if she want to cut all ties and disconnect from R. Kelly, she needs to drop that last name. Okay, that's how I feel about it. Drop that last name and go back to living your life. 
Because she said she could disconnect, right? So, disconnect. Disconnect. That's all I'm saying. And the fact that her children names are, she got a child, well, the children names are Joanne Kelly, Jay Kelly, and Robert Kelly Jr. Oh, God. Yeah. She was married to R. Kelly from 1996 to 2009. And then she married this guy named Brian McKee. Um, 2014. I'm thinking that was the guy that she had met while she was on that show. While she was on that show. Um, what was that show Dre was on? Because I think she had her own show after that. After being on that show. That she had her own show, right? Child, I don't know. But anyway. The Hollywood Exes. That's what it was. The Hollywood Exes. Hollywood Exes. Yep, the Hollywood exes. But anyway, guys, how do you feel about Drea? Okay, and what she had to say. Um, some people are saying that, um, you know, when they came to R. Kelly with the first time, she was right by his side. Because I did not know R. Kelly was married when the first allegations came out with that videotape. I did not know he was married then. Then when he was going to court, there's Drea. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. I didn't know he was married. So he kept, he was married to her, kept her a secret or whatever he was doing to her, abuse, mentally and physically abusing her, you know, and um, doing what he was doing out here with all these other people. Honey, if I was her, I would go back to being Drea Lee and I would just leave that Kelly last name alone because it's, 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 it's Right now, that's not a name you want to have. You want to carry, but I bring up Woody Allen and Bob Dylan because those were allegations out there. Okay, those were allegations out there, and it seemed like those allegations were out there for a minute. It wasn't constantly talked about, or whatever the case may be. I don't even know where the cases have gone, so I have to do more research about that, about those two. But I remember the Woody Allen thing, and for him to marry a. Uh, adoptive daughter like I just mm -mm. no 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 but you know there are people out there who will disagree with what I'm saying and have their own opinion about it so you know it is what it is but yeah um I feel bad for Drea's kids and I really do I really do how do you guys feel about Drea and what she said here about her speaking out, you know, about this whole R. Kelly stuff. How do you guys feel about that? Let me know in the comment section and I will talk to you later.